What's up YouTube, this is Prince of ATP 101 and in this video I'm going over my top tweaks of 2014. So 2014 is almost over and I'm going over my top tweaks. I went through and see which ones I liked and which one I used the most and I only found 9. But I'm going to put in my favorite tweak at the end. So it's going to be 10 tweaks all together. But 9 of them is going to be ones that was released in 2014, both on iOS 7 and on iOS 8. So the first one we're going to go over is no update history. No update history. I love this tweet because whenever I go to um, the app store and I go to update, I see all the apps that I want to update and I don't have the old ones that I've previously updated in the history. So you see it just stopped right there. So I have like 30 apps or 29 apps that needs to get updated. I really love this tweet. That annoyed, annoyed me for a while because the update history, it, it was always there. It, a whole bunch of apps that's already been updated who cares and so this helps and my second one is called rotate plus so this is for the iPhone 6 when you flip your phone like that it rotates like the iPhone 6 plus so that's a real cool tweak and when you go to the lock screen it does the same thing so there you go guys so rotate plus that's my second one and then my third one is called watch board this tweak is most more like a gimmick tweak to show you what the iWatch interface would look like on your device so if I double tap my status bar as you can see right there I have the, the iWatch look on my phone and I could still tap on each app and open it up just like that and if I want to exit out and all these tweaks you go into settings and and set them up. See, I double tap. I have my activation method for a double tap on the status bar, just like that. And yeah, it's working fine. So that's my third one. Let's exit out. And my fourth one is called Lock Glyph. So if I go to my lock screen, you see that little animation right there. That's called Lock Glyph. I want to hold it. I get that check mark before it opens. That's all basically lock glyph does that. It just give you that Apple Pay animation right there on your lock screen. So it does look cool. And then my fifth one is called Virtual Home. Virtual Home is basically I don't have to tap my press I don't have to press my home button to do what the home button does. All I have to do is rest my thumb on it and see that? It open up my app switcher. Alright, if I'm on the lock screen and it's locked, I don't have to press the button to open it. I have to just rest my thumb on it and we'll wait the device and open it at the same time. And I could also do the same thing like go to if I want to go to my um, reachability. Hold on. Basically, just don't have to press the, the button, even though reachability doesn't allow you to press the button, but that's what it does. If I'm on my second page, I want to go back home, rest my thumb on it, and it gives you that ability not to press your home button. And my sixth one, guys, is called um, BioProtect. BioProtect is basically I could lock any app, have my messages locked, just like that. I have to use my fingerprint to get in. I have my pictures locked. I have to use my fingerprint to get into that. If you see all my pictures there. So that's what BioProtect does, guys. You can lock any app. If you're obsessed with security, then this is definitely a tweak for you. You could also use um, Bio Lockdown, I think. That's also another one you could check out. Lock any app. If I go to turn my phone off, I can't turn it off without using my thumbprint. There, it's asking me for my thumbprint but I'm just gonna hit cancel and it'll open back up so my eighth one guys is called sub subtle lock subtle lock is basically for your lock screen see right there it's see my basically my lock screen is just open move that big ugly thing from the center the clocks and just put them all up top so it's just big and open and clean so that's what subtle lock does and then my Eighth one is called Predix. Predix is my eighth one, guys. And what Predix does, if I shape my device, 
gives me my basically tells me what's going on with my phone battery. It said that my phone will power down in five hours and thirty one minutes. That's how long the battery life will last right now. And if I plug it in, I don't have no no cables around me, but if I plugged it in, basically it would tell me how much time I got to my phone turn will will be at full charge. So it tells you how much it's gonna turn off and how much time it's gonna take to to power down. So that's Predix. And that's my eighth one. And then my ninth one is one tap clear. When you go to your notification center, you could just basically hit X and all the everything is in there will be gone. So that's my ninth one. Just hit the X and it's gone. You don't have to hit it hit the X, then hit clear, then everything is deleted out. You just tap on that and then you're good to go. And then a tenth one guys is this one right here. I already said I said I was gonna do nine, but I also want to do full NC or NC full, full NC or NC, uh, NC full I think, or full NC, but basically it means full notification center. Right here, you see right here, I have so much information, I could read the whole the whole email right there without actually opening it up. So it just basically, instead of giving you that little line with like four lines or whatever, it just gives you like 20 lines, you could read the whole thing right from your notification center. So that's what full NC does, guys, full notification center. So those are my top 10 because I had that other notification one. Those are my top 10 tweaks for 2014, guys. And my favorite tweak of all time, I want to throw that in there, is Spring to Mize. So Spring to Mize, that's what lets me do this with my phone. The springboard icons are smaller than the, the bottom ones, and the ones on the dock, everything is curved, it's clear. So that's what Spring to Mize does, guys. So those are basically my top 10 tweaks of the year. There's a lot of tweaks came out this year, but I don't really use them. You might. And for virtual um, home, I really like that one. Lot glyph is real cool. But those are the tweaks that I use, guys. So those are my top 10 tweaks of 2014. Let me know what, what's your top tweak in the description, in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that like button. Sprint today, TP101. Peace.